just with me and I have a remote desktop it from my laptop and uh, before this one I have successfully uh, connected one machine with the domain client and it's working fine so as I can see my VPN connection is connected okay so what I have found about this one is uh, to join a domain the most important thing you need is uh, the uh, uh, I think you need the DNS server okay so the DNS query can resolve your DC which was not uh, easy I have to uh, like I have to try again and again and then I came to the solution so let's jump straight to the solution the solution was you can go to the networking go to here I go this way and first what I did is I put the Google DNS in this connection and then I put the Active Directory DNS server on a second priority which is actually available in VPN connection okay as you can see if uh, I can ping it this is actually the Active Directory server okay so the tricky part was that it wasn't working so I have to bring this up so it can be the first DNS server like uh, I'll show you here <coughs> yeah it's saying you should first uh, disconnect it so let's go there and let the setting take effect and then connect it again so it's connected so for example we go to CMD and I ask to MS look up the domain and you can notice it went to the Google DNS server and it didn't resolve but when I change the DNS uh, to the first priority second one then it goes working and the one thing more I noticed was yes this I also had to check it okay and let's go offline and try go online yes got it. thank you so now if you go for the same command now it is resolved you see these are actually the virtual adapters uh, on the Active Directory server which is already working you know so the tricky part was and by the way the VPN server I'm running it's uh, VPN servers is actually running on a Ubuntu machine all right um, I'll uh, show you later on that just uh, let's jump to the part we are here for so let's start joining a domain recording okay great some farmer dot local So number one was change your DNS in VPN IP V4 settings. Number two, put ADDC DNS on priority one and Google DNS on 2 so you don't lose, lose internet connectivity so you see this is done 
and now it is asking me to a restart and let's do a quick restart uh, before restarting I think uh, yeah the tricky the second tricky part is to create a user second tricky part is to create a user because I'm using uh, if you go for the network sign-in option it will only support for Microsoft VPN connection because the screen is locked so you cannot log in until you enter some user which is same in the Active Directory and has a VPN access so what I'm going to do is uh, though I have a separate VPN server built in Linux so I have already created users over there but I will create one user with the same username and password as VPN in Active Directory and give him a dial-in permission and network access and also add him into the VPN users group so he can log in through a mobility client like laptops and notebooks and uh, he can log in outside of the network as far as up to best of my knowledge this is going to take a while because I think I have RDP this PC so what we'll go what we'll do is let this PC restart and uh, meanwhile it comes back we can create a user zone, user one here. So let's connect to the VPN connection. All right. Goody goody go. Let's light up. We're in the server. Go to Active Directory and create a user. User is called. this is actually the user on the VPN connection username and the password should uh, also be the same Here's the user. Go to the dialing. Give him permission. And is member of VPN users. That's it. That's all we need from here right now. So we'll close this connection. Close this one. Hopefully this guy is okay fine no same no same so let it restart by the way I'm just using a default uh, application so I don't think so I have the pause video button or something so let's just wait it will take just a few seconds hopefully yep
This is going to take a while. Because it has come back from me after joining a drain. So it's trying to find out the server. I think it's better if we go and use the AnyDesk application. If this guy is online on AnyDesk, yes, we are. Basically, why it's taking time is trying to find the domain controller which should be available on the network. But as far as it's uh, go to the login screen, the VPN connection should be connected. And then it can find the login domain controller. Rest of the step after this, uh, I have found this on the web and uh, on the YouTube that uh, these were available. Yeah, this is the Linux uh, VPN server that I built separately. You see, this is built on Ubuntu. Okay, show these. I forgot and uh, the sort of the users over there. Let's see, this is the VPN server I have already built over here. Got we got the login screen over here. So let's close this guy because I cannot connect two VPN connections. You see, this is the guy, network sign in. So this is actually the VPN username and password, the same user I created in the Active Directory. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you see, what it's doing is it connected to the VPN server first, and then it's fetching the same user from the Active Directory. <coughs> Oh, sorry, mine is smoking, and I'm having some itching in my throat. This will take a while to start up. Why my MacBook fan is going crazy? Let's check it out. Yeah, that's any desk is having a problem. Temperature is normal, frequency is not going very wild. It should be okay in a while. 